Hello friends, welcome back to CCSP Certified Channel. Today we are starting the uh, lecture for or topic for that is risk in the cloud. And you might be following my other videos. I have already covered three topics. Topic one was on cryptography. Topic two was on identity access management. Topic three was on cloud different characteristics. Topic four I started this risk in the cloud. And you can expect around uh, uh, 10 to 15 questions from topic for itself and in that vendor specific risk we will discuss today and this also very important from exam perspective you can expect around four questions from this small topic itself in the ccsp exam so if you if you just recall we already have seen the risk in the cloud and we in the in the topic uh, for lecture one and two we have seen the virtualization and multi-tenancy related risk in the previous topic for lecture 3 we have seen the data and the encryption related risk today we will see the vendor specific risk which are the vendor locking vendor lockout and supply chain but before I jump to the topic I just quickly discuss the new promotional offer and the new batches I am starting to harvest that offer so the offer name is peace of mind and the, it will remain same even you watch this video uh, beyond these dates offer will remain the peace of mind the dates will change so IC Square gave the free second attempt in case you purchase the voucher via this peace of mind promotional activity. So current offer is if you purchase a voucher by 31st May and you can write the first attempt by June 30th. In case you still need a second attempt you can write this freely by August 15. And uh, it is very good offer many of my students and myself qualified this in first attempt itself because we go with the relaxed mind in the exam in case still we don't get qualified we still have a second attempt you get a fair idea of the weaknesses and the exam pattern so it's very good always write ic square with this offer only so what i do i normally uh, start my batches according to the peace of mind offer so this current uh, uh, offer i already have running batch but this offer will be end on june 30th so new offer will come in the july so to get ready with the July offer, uh, what I have done, I am starting a new batch. This from the 6th June onward, it will go mostly by 10th of July. So it is a 25 classes program. And in this 25 classes, I have collected the content from various sources. And I will cover this in this 25 classes. It will be morning from 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. 15 a.m. IST. It is flexible as per the working professionals four days we can decide based on the majority of the audience choice we, i will share the classroom record recordings in case you miss it language of the classes will be english but you are free to ask question in hindi uh, because i support all type of languages which i know apart from this uh, uh, you you might be interested how I, I am teaching so i will share the recording of one of my class in this video description you have a look at that and get idea and also you can see the feedback of my previously batches and the uh, students who has qualified on my linkedin so i will share the linkedin link also there in my video description the fees is 24000 that is 300 us dollar but if you enroll by before 6th of june or if you join along with the friends you may get additional discount so write me at the ccsp certified at gmail.com to more inquire about the same Apart from this, I have started the online video recordings service also. So I am uploading the recording of my current batches. And in case you are interested, you can uh, write me uh, for that one. I will share the video recording content and my guidelines, guidance and question banks for this. And uh, the fees is very nominal for that. You can write me if you are interested to purchase this. This, those, this is for those who cannot join the regular classes because of work like balance or the other constraints. Now we come to the topic that is vendor specific risk. So there are three type of risk we'll discuss vendor locking, vendor lockout and supply chain. So we'll discuss them one by one. So vendor locking is a situation where customer is unable to leave, migrate or transfers to any alternate provider due to technical or non-technical constraints. So you want to move from Azure to Oracle or Oracle to Google and you are not able to do 
because of the various reasons and because of this situation is called as a vendor locking so vendor locking is a real risk to the organization because they might not be in a position to leave the current provider or indeed, indeed sometimes they cannot continue the business operation with and services of the current providers so let's say you need a high availability you need auto scaling and the vendors has no not or enough capacities the reason you are want the services they have banned or they have stopped working there and you are not able to operate because of you are tightly linked or you are logged in with the vendor and it is a real risk for the organizations so there are many reasons this may happen but most commons are unfavorable contract proprietor data format the data format that is supported only to a particular vendor or the algorithm that is being used by them only for encrypting decrypting of the data insufficient bandwidth that you have decided two hour or four hour downtime but the bandwidth is not enough to download and migrate your whole data set from one cloud to other cloud and the other important one is improper key management this is also very important if you keep the key with the csp and they are not able to retrieve or share the key to you you will not able to retrieve your data back to the other csp we have seen that the key management is very important in the clause perspective so these are the reasons because of the vendor looking happens and ccsp ask one question from vendor looking itself so we'll see a few questions in our exercise the next one is vendor lockout so it is a situation that the promised vendor is out of the business so they have promised that next three years based on your, your expansion plan we will able to provide the services to you but suddenly they went of the out of the market they become defaulter they stop the services and it is a real risk because you have to suddenly uh, move your uh, all the workload to the next provider you have to plan the migration and this is the risk which can bring the business down and this also vendor specific risk the next one is a supply chain risk and every business is depend on dependent on other third party vendors like like you might have gone to mcdonald's so let's say the burger king or mcdonald's they are dependent on the grocery suppliers they are dependent on the staffing suppliers they are depending on the transportation suppliers if any of them can get impacted their business get impacted so same way uh, you might have heard the news that apple iphone sale has decreased last year because of the, the covid situation in the china their chinese vendors got impacted and because of this the the sale or the production of the uh, iphones got impacted so supply chain risk introduce a risk because of your suppliers are not foolproof or not sound enough to run the business so there are few keywords need to be remember and they are very important from an exam perspective one is nist sp 800 161 second is iso 28000 and third is iso 27036 so they are the one who has talked about the supply chain risk and supply chain risk happens because suppliers are dependent on the other suppliers csp is dependent on the csps or other uh, vendors to supply the services so one question asked from the supply chain risk side one question being asked on the vendor looking and the next one is type of the suppliers each uh, or the vendor each industry has so csp asked question on this slide also very important from exam perspectives so there are four type of suppliers being identified first one is commodity second is tactical third is strategic and fourth is operational suppliers so they are suppliers based on the different demands like for the strategic supplier they are long-term partners and they have high risk and high cost if they get down to the and they have high risk and high impact to the business same way they are commodity suppliers who just supply the goods and services they can be easily replaced they have a low risk and low cost because there are many in the market technical are in the mid level the operational is low high either low risk high cost or high risk low cost so this diagram is very important one questions you can expect from this recently we have seen that they are asking the different type of suppliers and correct mapping so commodity low low strategic high high in between technical is mid mid if you remember these three operational will be either low high or high low so you can select the option based on this uh, four combinations 
the next one how the communication path with the vendors ccsp asking this question also and and very easy but in exam if you don't know you are not able to give the answer what is the communication path or what is the vendor onboarding part so onboard the vendor management and the upboard very simple i have seen this in my exam also and at least recently all of my students have seen this question that what is the vendor path so onboarding management and offboarding apart from this communication with the vendor is very important because they are the backbone of your business so you should establish a proper communication path with all your partners who support your services you identify and document all the partners and vendor information you also have a access related information of those vendors and partners and also emergency communication protocols and key stakeholders informations so in case something was went down something don't go as the plan you should have a uh, communication uh, setup and you should have a context details to talk to them reach out to them now we will cover a few exam questions and we'll see how what type of question being asked from this topic so first one is which one is not linked to the supply chain as i informed before also if it is a negative question they will underline the not keyword so it is good for the exam perspective so which is not linked to the supply chain we have seen that isp sp 800 161 iso 28000 and 27036 these three are we have seen as part of the supply chain the option will be D. and 27017 is a cloud specific uh, specification so few ISO and AIST specification keyword we have to remember I will cover them in the next topic we will take them the next one which is a coming from the question bank what is probably the optimum way to avoid the vendor locking so previous question was from my example question this is the simple question I have taken so how we can avoid the vendor locking we have seen that uh, first we remove the option which are the uh, destructor or which are not relevant in the exam so strong cryptography definitely increase the vendor dependency if we implement the strong cryptography logic we are tightly dependent with the vendor but these three option non proprietary data format industry standard and favorable contract these three are the correct options but we have to select some time based after these multiple correct options in the exam and the, the best one will be the favorable contact language so one one smart way of handling this one whenever the favorable favorable contact comes in the option always go with that one whether it is a vendor locking or any other topic in this exam because the contract is the first point of protection you have against the vendors locking or any other features they are not able to provide even though you are supporting the non proprietary data format you are using the standard media but your contract is not supporting you you cannot leave the vendor so base ways first have your contract is strong enough that vendor will not able to stop you so next one is all of the following are the techniques to enhance the portability of the cloud data in order to minimize the potential of the vendor looking what is being expected so ex except this which will which one will minimize the vendor looking so uh, property data uh, format if you avoid definitely it will overcome the vendor locking so this option is reduced no physical limitation definitely if there is no physical limitation of moving the data it will reduce the vendor locking the favorable contact definitely will reduce the vendor locking but the DRM the DLP solution we have discussed the DRM in the uh, lecture 3 previous lecture so DRM is for the data in use and DLP for the data related concept that we will cover later but these are the one which increase the dependency on the vendor because then you have installed and purchased so softwares from the customer and you have implemented policies and it is not easy to replace or move to other vendors because of this uh, use DRM DLP will increase the vendor looking not the decrease the option will be B in this case the next will be again from the question being and similar question being asked in my exam as I informed before also and at least this is being asked for for majority of my students so far the current mapping in the community tactical strategic and operational uh, suppliers so we have seen that commodity is low low strategy is high high and tactical is mid mid so if you know these three at least you can uh, give the answer so commodity is mentioned here low mid incorrect it is a low low strategy is high high which is mentioned incorrect operational is low high or high low 
it is mentioned as low low mid risk is a technical supplier mid risk and mid cost the answer is b the last one which is also exam question path of the path of the path of the vendor management we have seen this onboarding management and offboarding very easy but in exam if option come like this and you don't know this it will be very difficult question you may go with the onboarding reconciliation of boarding or onboarding communication of boarding like this the correct answer will be b onboarding management and offboarding so this for today hope you have liked the video it might be informative and helpful to you if you want to get tuned and get update about the latest videos like my channel subscribe my channel thank you bye